well, why don't you just save yourself the two points? And then the humiliation will be... <laughs> yeah, whatever, come on! <laughs> oh, I'm coming. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. wearing granny panties. That's panties, granny. <laughs> oh, come on. You have to admit, that was some killer D. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, everybody, look, it's granny panties. <laughs> Hide. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, man. It's in my nature to burn. <laughs> granny panties understands. Don't you, granny panties? <laughs> okay, look, I didn't have anything else to wear. It was laundry day. Kelso, I want you to know that I feel bad for you and that I am sorry. You are not a man! <laughs> Fez, what happened? I was walking back from the pep rally, flushed with school spirit. <laughs> When, when, when some boys from Fort Anderson, they jump me, and they slap me, and they beat me. And look at what they did to my pompons. Hey, that's not funny, man. It's really not. They spray painted me on my ass. <laughs> I won revenge against those Fort Anderson snapping turtles. I'm not supposed to say anything, but Jackie's testing you to see if you're ready to get back together. Oh my God, are you serious? Do you think I have a chance? Not a good one. You've already failed two tests and you're about to fail the third. That egg is a test of your parenting ability. So you, what you're saying is if, if I break that egg, then I fail the test and lose Jackie, the girl I love more than anything in the world? Fine, give me the egg. Okay, catch. <laughs> Whoops. I mean... <laughs> Kelso, remember that time we are going to put a flaming bag of dog poop in front of Principal Pridwell's door and you lit it in the car on the way over? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see it all flamey. <laughs> and then you panicked and stepped on it? Eric, it was on fire! <laughs> okay. You're not going. Okay, let's get going. Oh, don't tell me crap shoes is coming. <laughs> the bag was on fire! Okay, here comes Kelso. Oh, this is going to be so good. But plug your nose, because it's also going to be foul. <laughs> All right, somebody put a stink bomb in my backpack. Oh. <laughs> and when I find out who, I'm going to kick some ass! <laughs> Well, that conversation is going to go badly. How do you know? I put a stink bomb in his back pocket. Hey, uh, Fez, does that shirt come with its own bicycle pump? <laughs> well, you should talk. That shirt makes you look like a stick of fruit stripe gum. God, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Carnation instant bitch? <laughs> out of the park. <laughs> Kelso's playing the stock boy? This is my favorite thing ever. Well, Michael does have marvelous bone structure. <laughs> oh, but you will too, honey, once you fill out. Oh, man. <laughs> Mom burn. <laughs> yep. It's twice the normal burn. <laughs> Hey, dudes! 
Hey, Leo man. Huggy Bear called. He wants his suit back. <laughs> Huggy Bear? This is my suit, man. Hi, Stacy. Hi, I'm Eric Foreman. Look, I, uh, I feel a little silly about my dad uh, asking you out for me. You probably thought I was, like, ugly <laughs> or <laughs> slow or something. So I just wanted to say hi, you know, give you a chance to, you know, take a gander at the goods. <laughs> so and uh, see if maybe uh, tomorrow night you want to have dinner. At your house? Will your dad be there? Cause I'll go if he's there. Okay. What, do you like... <laughs> do you like, like my dad? <laughs> oh my God, you like my dad? Do you know if he's seeing anyone? Yeah. My mom. <laughs> And they bought furniture together, so... Yeah, I think it's pretty serious. <laughs> Turns out, Stacy doesn't even like me. Yeah, we kind of expected that. Thought you said you had news. Well... Yeah, here it comes. She likes red. Oh, oh my god! You're gonna have to leave town! Why? Oh, because we're gonna tell everyone! <laughs> tell me this. How'd the 50-year-old guy get the girl? Look at me, I'm an attractive man. Well, I got you. Technically, I got you. And then you blew it. Which means you didn't lose it, because you never had it. See, there's your silver lining. Eric, you have a lot of good qualities. I mean, you're funny. Like, well, what just happened to you is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that chick likes Red because he's a tough guy, a hard ass. You? You're soft. <laughs> How soft is he, hi? <laughs> Softer than Liberace at the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Because he plays piano. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> all of your ideas are all um, stupid. Okay, moving on. Uh, at the end of the play, when Santa comes in that door... Oh, how about so? I swear to God, if you say Space Santa, I'm gonna kick you in the head. <laughs> Never mind. Give me my stuff back, Red. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, Bob. And no. Oh, Red, just give it back. You don't want anybody to have a happy Christmas. Oh, you want happy? Drink another six-pack. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is great. I guess we have a new tradition here. The annual Yuletide fight. God, can't anybody just act decent for one freaking day of the year? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How about her? Yeah, I made out with her once. Okay, I don't want my tongue where Kelso's tongue has been. Oh, you better stay away from your mom then. I was kidding! Good news! My boys are back in friendly hands. 
Ironically, that's just where they started their journey. That's a shame, Kelso. It's the one job I knew you could have been a success at. Thanks, Hyde. Kelso, get that nasty bag of genetics out of my basement. This bag? Oh. Oh. Oh, burn! It's just a big bag of candy. Candy? What kind of candy? It's Foreman. I'm not really a pinata kind of guy. Oh, come on, Steven. Everyone plays pinata. Yeah, Steven. Hit the jackass. <laughs> Foreman wants to nail his cousin. No. No, no, no. She's not my cousin. She was adopted. And what the hell happened to your face? What the hell happened to yours? Oh. <gasps> burn! Yeah, I gotta admit, Donna, that was a nice burn. And I don't mean what you said just there. I mean your face. Nice burn. <laughs> and in honor of this special day, I got you all gifts. <laughs> all right, Aerosmith Live. Yeah, for my friend who rocks. Oh, man, the new Rolling Stone. For my friend who reads. <gasps> oh, Dios. For my friend who snacks. These cookies are filled with toothpaste. All right, that noise not come out of my butt. Welcome to prank day. That's right, it's prank day. Gift day, you idiots. A whoopee cushion, what are you, two? <laughs> These things are great. You got something in your ear, man. What? Oh my goodness, it's peanut butter! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter wet willy, very clever. <clears throat> the thing about it is, you don't have to be clever. Oh, okay, okay! This prank day is over! This is watch TV. Hey, Fez, I think there's a Nancy Drew on. Oh, she can solve my mystery any day. <laughs> and by the way, the mystery is in my pants. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I got a peanut in my ear. Yeah, I use chunky so it might get up in your brain. Yeah, haha. -ha. Laugh it up now, man. Because fun time is over. <laughs> what the hell? I'm stuck. I have been glued. <laughs> Not glued. Super glued. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you covered the freezer handle and the TV knob in super glue? Knowing Foreman's love for popsicles and Fez's love for knobs. <laughs> yeah, I'm an evil mastermind. <gasps> Kelso. Is there a cushion glued to my butt? No, not glued. Super glued. You're a dead man. Huh? What are you gonna do, sit on me with your cushion butt? It won't hurt, because it's a cushion butt. Oh, oh, oh. oh, good God. You kids switch partners more than square dancers. Uh, no, it's not what you think. We're not together. Then what's going on in my kitchen? Um. Eric's in California. <laughs> Jackie, you just totally burned Foreman. You think the lines at the DMV are long? You should see the free clinic. <laughs> well, there's a wait. Man, you've been to the free clinic? No. Oh, 
But I did see your mom there. <gasps> oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Just like your mom did. <gasps> Come on, move it, damn! Gentlemen, I'm sorry you had to see my dark side. Please excuse me. When I get to the bottom of this, ta ta. Look, man, I gotta talk to you. About some things that happened while you were gone this summer. I, if this is about free ice cream, naked volleyball, or a dog wearing a hat and sunglasses, I'd rather not even know. <laughs> no, it's about Jackie. What about Jackie? She was with someone, I knew, but damn it! Well, you know, you guys are broken up, so who cares, right? Well, not, I don't care, it's just... I, I mean... She was a big part of my life. And I just hate the thought of her being off with some random guy. Well, what if I told you it was with a friend? Would that make it better? No. That would make it worse, stupid. Oh, you're messing with me. Okay, because I, you know, a friend would never do that. Oh, man, hi, you got me again. <laughs> just like I got your mom. <gasps> <laughs> what is with the hitting? Hey, I got beer and picture sticks. Let's party. <laughs> hey, we say no broads. Here, here, take some tag and go. Man, if I had a dollar for every time I heard a chick say that. <laughs> what? What? Never turn down Tang. Growing boys need Tang. <laughs> what is funny here? So, I guess this is the way an immature, engaged high school dumbass with no car, no job, and no money trims the hedges. <laughs> That was like eight burns in one sentence. An octo burn. Let's get the hell out of here. Red, you're being a big baby. No, Mom, it's okay. Actually, it's a pleasant surprise, but let's see how serious he is about it. Hey, Dad, you know who's got the right idea? Russia. <laughs> I haven't felt this kind of tension in years. Reminds me of home. Except everyone's wearing a shirt. Ooh, Jackie's panties. Hey, hi, these babies can talk, but they could tell some pretty good stories about me. <laughs> yeah, I bet they'd have a French accent, too. My girlfriend's panties, Kelso? Is that really a road you want to go down with me? What's that, panties? <laughs> oh, no, I can't tell Hyde that one. Naughty panties! <laughs> What's that, Fist? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> Why do you have money? What'd you do, mug a Girl Scout? <laughs> no, I've been selling my albums. You hired Kelso? Do you know how many fires this guy started? <laughs> Three electrical, two chemical, and one that even surprised me. <laughs> well, I wanted to help him out, and he, he said he needed a job. Yeah, if I'm gonna be a cop, I gotta quit modeling. I mean, I can't have the perps looking at pictures of me half naked. <laughs> Oh, and uh, everywhere I work, I like to feel at home, so I brought a little something of Jackie's. Okay, uh, I think that's a health code violation, but I'm gonna look the other way, which is hard to do. Look, panties. <laughs> yeah, I burned you with the panties again. <laughs> 
two days, two location. That burn is on tour. <laughs> we made a pact to never fight over a girl again. You know, you're right, man. I mean, neither of us has a shot with Jackie anyway. So I'm stepping back. No, no, no. You go for it. I'll step back. No, I'm serious. Door is open for you. No, I'm serious. The door is open for you. I just closed the door for me. Well, I'm closing the door for me, and I'm locking myself inside, and I'm swallowing the key. <laughs> Fine. We're both done with her. You're my bud. You're my bud. Oh! <laughs> I was wondering if that would work, and it did. And what are we going to do for the 4th of July? There's a car show in Kenosha. A car show? I don't want to go to a car show in Kenosha. I want three more months with my baby boy. And now they're gone because of your bull. Way to go, dumbass! Way to go. If you hadn't fallen off the water tower, we could have helped them out. Ah! Ah! They should have x-rayed your head at the hospital. <laughs> they did. <laughs> and for your information, they found nothing. <laughs> Kelso, this apple's kind of like you, too. You mean juicy and delicious? <laughs> no, red and bruised. <laughs> You too, hog. They're uh kosher. Yeah, kosher. Wait, what's kosher? It means blessed by a rabbi. Burn. Uh-huh. Red, red. Cousin Alice wants to know why Eric and Donna's wedding is off. Well, just tell her what your son did. Oh, now he's my son, just like when he told us he wanted to be a jazz dancer. He's our son, Red. No son of mine would humiliate his family by running off on his fiance. Alice, the wedding is off because Eric is gay. <laughs> You're right. Everybody knew except him. <laughs> An earth green means go! Gosh, I didn't know they let brain dead morons drive cars. And I didn't know they let brain dead morons into the police academy. <laughs> oh, they do! Brooke! Hi, Michael. This is my mother. Yeah, we we met. It didn't go very well. <laughs> okay, you know what? Don't bother coming over tonight. My sexual tension has been replaced with another familiar emotion. Anger at your scrawny ass. <laughs> no! Yes! Well, good job, Michael. You solved one crime and prevented an even bigger one. Donna having sex with Eric. <laughs> You have the right to remain burned! <laughs> hey, Doc. Hey, boy. Hi, Mike. Good at Mike. I suppose you think this is funny? What? You have made a mockery of the uniform, and I want an explanation right now. Shut up! <laughs> Dismissed! What did you guys do to me? Did you shake my head? Is there something on my back? You know what? You guys are totally stuck in high school. And I'm trying to do something better, and you guys resent it, so you're trying to ruin it for me. Well, you know what? This stuff isn't even funny anymore. Oh, that's a good burn. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe you kids trying to sneak off with my good gin. Yeah, I should have known she can smell booze from a mile away. Excuse me? 
Oh, I, I said you smell like booze from a mile away. <laughs> That's worse, dumbass. Guess this is it. Hey, give those cows help, boys. Hey, Kelso. I love you! <laughs> Shut up! I love you too, Kelso! <laughs> Just quit it! I love you the most! <laughs> we were just kidding. So was I, so, so was I. <laughs> Check it out, guys. It's Sergeant Crossing Guard. <laughs> Rough day on the crosswalk, Sarge. I'm not a crossing guard, Hyde. I'm a police officer in training. Read the badge. You mean your paper name tag? No, I mean my badge. This symbolizes all the authority of the Point Place Police Department. Oh, how'd it get ripped? Can I leave now? There's nothing to do. Here, take these pictures of me and put them in order of cuteness from very cute to it's just not fair, she's so cute. Lame, lamer, lamest. I like her. Yeah, me too. She's feisty. Nice name tag, are you a garbage man? It's a badge! <laughs> nice going. Ackass Jay. Ackass Jay? Oh, jackass. <laughs> well, honey, I don't think you're a jackass. I think you're a jack angel. Hey, Mom, look, I know you're worried about money with Dad not being able to work, but I want you to know I'm going to get right back out there and get a, a better job, a high paying job. Well, sure. Just go down to the Bureau of High Paying Jobs. <laughs> You can't miss it. It's right next to the pie in the sky office. <laughs> Jackass. Waiter! Uh, it's our anniversary, and this wine is no good. Hey, you got a lot more problems than the wine. <laughs> you are one ugly broad. I do not appreciate your tone. My tone? Dude, your wife's a bitch. Hey, Hyde, where's Table Seven's fish? Oh, I got that for you, Eric. Here is your filet of soul. Oh, <laughs>